Hello there guys, Fink here, and welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious. Okay, so, this is actually a really, really odd game. Uh, when I first seen this on the store page, I was like, oh cool, it's a restaurant management game. Uh, it kind of is, but it's more than that. It's, it's a really weird kind of... I like to call it a keyboard bashing game, <laughs> but uh, it's by um. Oh God, I can never remember the name. There we go, Vertigo Gaming. It's by Vertigo Gaming, and as you can see, there's the credits there. So all credits then for making the game and whatnot. I want the options. Might as well look at the options menu while we're here. So as you can see, uh, there's not a lot of options. It's a fairly oldish game. But it still gets updated now and again. Uh, in fact, there was recently quite a large uh, content update. Uh, patch 2.6. We can have a look at this. Uh, some quickly featuring this uh, extra bonus upgrade. Your phone has been updated. So now you're texting during date. is speed up by a large amount. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that a bit later. We don't really need all this. All right. So, when you first start, you have a little tutorial, which obviously I've skipped. Uh, I'll actually go through it well, when we go on our first day. So what we need to do first is we need to have a look at what foods we want to uh, be on our menu. Now you can have up to four foods on the menu uh, to start off with. We are a very, very low class restaurant. We have no stars at all, whatever, at all. So yeah. Now let's have a look what food we can have. So we can have... Uh, Suspabellas. I'm not actually too sure what those actually are. I'm presuming they're some type of uh, sweet tortilla or something like that. I've never come across them before. We don't really have them in England, so I have no idea what those are. I know what corn dogs are. I'm presuming that's a corn dog. <laughs> yeah. Pretzels, uh, beer. Oh, we definitely have beer. We have beer in uh, England. Yes, we do. <laughs> and fried chicken. Oh, God, fried chicken. Oh. Um, there's a soda machine, soda fountain. Uh, we can have uh, fries. Now, each individual food has different properties. So, as you can see, corn dogs are pet the great food for catering. So, during some of the events, you can actually go ahead and cater. And this is one of the best food to do with. So, there you go. Uh, we've got simple food. So, it's a very easy food to make. It's not going to take too much time to make, which is good. And it's uh, it's a good thing to sell in the afternoon, but there are a lot of negative things about it. So it's con it's munchies. It's considered snack food, so it's not really ordered during rush hours. And rush hours are bloody difficult on this game. Let me tell you. Menu rot. So some foods um, are staples, and they will always be on the menu. You can always leave them on the menu, and they will they will they'll never suffer from menu rot. But if something's been on the menu for more than two days, then people start to get fed up of um, ordering it, so they won't order it as much, and it'll give a negative buzz. Um, unappreciated, so this kind of food never gets tipped, which is another thing as well. Some foods uh, give a lot of tips, and some foods just give moderate amounts of tips, and some give none, like the corn dog. A peasant food, this food is never ordered in restaurant classified as two stars or higher. But we're not even there yet, so it's not really a problem. Fatty McFats, it's because the fatty food, so obviously there's a negative buzz. And there's a negative buzz in the morning because it's very smelly. So yeah, there's a lot of different um, things here. So yeah, cold beer, for example. Cold beer is a staple. Cold beer never gets old. It never gets old. It's fucking gorgeous. It never gets old. It's good for catering. It's it brings in the late uh, the late night crowd. It's simple food. It's very easy to make, and also it's very green as well. You don't really use it. it, 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 it there's no trash involved, and it doesn't get bringing rodents or dishes or anything like that. Which is weird because they're served in glasses, but I'm not going to complain. But of course, the work liquor so they're going to give a negative buzz overall. So that's all cool. So the first one we're actually going to have is the cold beer. Now we can try them out or we can purchase. So for this, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to try them out. Okay. So here we go. So it shows you what you can do, right? I'm going to actually show. I'm, while I'm while I'm, I'm actually going to show you some of the uh, go away. I'm going to show you some of the UI elements. So that's fine. That will go down. Okay. So during the day, you'll have customers come to you <laughs> and demanding stuff. So as you can see, he demanded a beer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press one. And now I can pour the beer. So to pour the beer, 
either have to click with the mouse and hold it down like so and serve it or what I could do is I can use the keyboard so I can hold down the down button and then press enter there we are very easy to serve so that's pretty cool now as you can see um, the customers don't like to wait too long so you have to try and serve them as quick as possible now obviously when there's one when there's just one person like this it's not too hard but when you have a queue of four that want different things it can get very puzzling and you can very easily lose customers like that so yeah we've <laughs> let, we've done that so let's crack on shall we so let's purchase that yay we now have cold beer now we need two more foods on our active menu before we can actually open shop and this is a great thing about this game as well you've got key bindings you can key bind any of the things to anything that is absolutely superb now that that is really nice it's really nice I'm not gonna change them now because they're pretty um, they're pretty good the way they are now for some foods we're gonna need a fryer as you can see we need a fryer for these so I'm actually gonna go ahead and buy a fryer so let's go to the equipment and let's buy a default fryer because as you know we do. I, I, I like deep fried stuff. Okay, so let's buy some uh, chips. Yeah, let's get some French fries. So we'll order these. These are pretty good in general. They are ordered quite a lot, but they're not ordered in the uh, Russia where they're considered junk food. So we'll get these. They have got menu right though, so I need to be careful of that. There we go. So we're going to buy some French fries. Um, now I've got, I've got one. I can get one more thing. So what about. Oh, there's wine as well. Um, what about salad? Now salads are pretty good usually, as you can see. Um, they're pretty healthy. They're a staple as well, which is great. It means you don't have to uh, leave them off the menu at all. They are generally healthy buzz um, in general as well, and they are to go if you if you have a catering service, which is cool. But they do generate a lot of trash and a lot of dirty plates. That's the major downside of salads. Now as you can see they're quite expensive the foods are but once you've actually bought a food then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to you don't have to like in other um restaurant measuring areas, you don't have to order in ingredients or anything like that. So that's okay, you know, I'd actually love to do something like that. But you don't get to do that sadly. So you just buy the food and then it's available to you. But you can upgrade the food. So as you can see, each salad I'm gonna sell is gonna make eight dollars. Doesn't matter what topping is on there right what um, what salad it is but if I upgrade it then um, what will happen is some of the foods like I'm gonna I'll tell you an example actually the wine the wine's a good example so uh, the basic cheap wine is just eight dollars per bottle now if I was to upgrade that then the next wine is like a cheese old cheesed wine which is a bit funny the game does not take itself seriously so yeah just bear that in mind but yeah so people might start ordering the second lot of wine the cheese one and then that will actually be uh, a lot dearer on the menu so you'll earn more money that way but you still might get people asking for the cheap wine and it does get a bit more complicated as you upgrade stuff so but that's good you don't have to worry too much about that just yet okay and there's also specialty foods but we can't do anything with that just yet because we don't have a one star restaurant so I think the last thing, I, I think I've already got three uh, stuff on the menu now, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. But I'm actually going to get a fourth anyway. I'm going to get the uh, wine. So, where's the wine? I want to get pissed. Thank you. Ah. Okay, so there we go. Uh, equipment, can I actually buy anything else? There's quite a lot of equipment you can buy. And some of them you probably won't you might think well why the hell do you need an ad security for example uh, you'll see you'll see as the game goes but um yeah some of this we can't actually afford yet which is a shame but i think we're okay we don't really need anything else um i've got plenty of money i think we're just going to start the new day okay begin <laughs> okay so someone wants some chips so i'm just going to press one we're going to dump the basket now we need to wait for it to smoke, and then we place them on the bowl. Now do they want sugar? They want salt. They don't want salt. Okay, so we'll enter that. Okay, uh, lager. Okay, let's pour you a lager. There you go, matey. 
Okay, now as you can see, depending on how quick you serve them, and depending on how good they are, how good you serve them as well, um, they give you a rating. So as you can see, that's a perfect, I've put a perfect point there. And as you can see, I've got a three times perfect combo. Oh, now chores now, this is what you've got to do on your own. So we need to flush the toilet, so let's flush it and sanitize our hands. Oh, and uh, let's make you some French fries. So there we go. I didn't check the... Uh, oh, I, I forgot to pull the salt. Damn. Uh, <laughs> that's the problem when you're commentating. Sometimes you miss things like that. But, uh, yeah. So I didn't actually check the sound on this before I bloody recorded. So I hope it's not too loud. If it is, I apologise. Uh, there's not really much I can do about it, though. Okay, okay, rush hour. Now we need to be quick. So, here we go. This can get really uh, frantic, especially later on. Okay, so we want ranch, cheese, and bacon croutons. Okay, there you go. And more pouring of the beer. More beers for you. Beer, beer, beer. Thank you. And we have our salad. And I just realised I forgot to put the uh, wine on. The active menu, like a dumbass. Damn. But as you can see, people are very impatient in this. <laughs> very impatient indeed. Uh, you can get upgrades that will um, increase their patience. But, uh, they're still impatient bastards. <laughs> okay, mushrooms, tomatoes, and greens and carrots. Okie dokie, there we go. Uh, ranch cheese, so RC. And mushrooms and tomatoes, there we go. And ooh, more beer. There we go. Uh, ranch cheese and ninja peppers. And oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so it's not quite the uh, management game I was expecting when I uh, played it, but my god, d d does, it get, does it increase your reaction time or what? Bloody hell. Oh, you want salt with that? Okay, here you go. Some salt with that. There you go. Brilliant, so that's the rush hour ended. Now, there's actually more than one rush hour. There's normally a rush hour during dinner time, which obviously makes sense, but there's also a rush hour during tea time. Around about 6 o'clock. That's when the evening crowd comes as well. That's when the wine starts to sell. But that's the hilarious thing about it. Wine can sell in the morning as well. It's really weird. So, all we've had to do so far is flush the, flush the loo, but there is other chores that you need to do, like wash dishes and stuff. And you, you, you don't actually hire any other employees. It's just you yourself doing all this. You you're not only managing it, but you're serving it. And you know it's quite it's quite an enormous task, but it's a fun one. It's actually a fun one, you know, which uh, a lot of games don't really nail down properly. This one kind of does. And I mean. Um, on my other side, oh, did I don't make it wrong. Sorry, mate. I didn't mean to do that. I was busy talking. <laughs> but a lot of games, um, they sometimes just fire in the deep end, or they they just don't get very interesting until a lot later on. Whereas this, there seems to be a nice um, learning curve, so you're not really bombarded with too many things. Although. You know, sometimes you can feel like it. You're not actually bombarded with too many things at the same time, and you can go at your own pace, which is really nice. Okay, yes, thank you, thank you. I'll uh, push the loo. We've actually failed um, two so far, and um, we've only got old haze on that. Oh, for sure. Okay, uh, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to burn the chips. Wait, beer. Can I have? Can I have a drink too? Oh, I suppose I shouldn't really drink on the job. You know. Mushrooms, tomatoes, greens and carrots. Do, do, do. Uh oh, we got the plates. I can't do plates just yet. Greens and carrots. Oh no, if you leave, it, that's another thing as well. If you leave. No, 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 dishes. No, 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 no. Right. What dishes? What dishes? What dishes? What dishes? No, there's too many dishes. No. That's too many dishes. Lift trash. Yeah, get rid of the trash. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> right, what do you want? Ranch and cheese. It can actually be really difficult when you first start, but as you start getting some more equipment, like the dishwasher and stuff like that, then you can focus more on the orders. But, like... Right, okay, 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 Hang on, I'm trying to talk. Okay, give a thumbs up. Yes, 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 give me some more buzz. Oh, another one wants to give me a 
more buzz. Okay. Uh, lunch cheese, uh, bacon and croutons. Uh. <laughs> it's fucking madness. There we go. And, oh, I've got the salt. You bastard. Right. Uh, did I tell you it wasn't really that brilliant in this game? <laughs> uh, it's alright once you get once you get into it, you're, uh, you're pretty good, but you're more, you're always on edge. <laughs> you can pause, by the way, as well. You, you can actually pause the game, but obviously you can't do nothing while the game's paused. So yeah, that, that's just that's that's kind of uh, handy. Right, okay. Cheese and onion, cheese, onion, and peppers. There we go. Bloody hell, are we, are we done yet? We've got another hour left. Oof. It's a long day. It's been an absolutely long day. I feel shattered already. I need a drink after this. Jesus Christ. I really do. Oh, okay. More French fries with salt. Okay then. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's do the toilet. And uh, more French fries with salt. So I've got the muscular French fries. Save the, save the chance from the bloody salad. So that's going to be awkward sometimes. Okay, as you can see, we managed to get 50 perfect, 3 average, and 1 bad. It's not that bad considering it's the first, um, this is the first day. For your first, your first week at least will always be not particularly brilliant because you don't have access to some of the equipment yet. But once you do, and it becomes a lot easier, and it, they're kind of needed for some of the, um, higher star restaurants. So here you are, you've actually got a nice checklist at the end of each day to show you what you need. So you need to complete 20 days of service. Apparently I've already done one day. I have no idea I've done that, but apparently I've done two. Um, that might actually count the tutorial, I guess. You need at least 10% positive buzz from customers, which we've already got. You need to serve four foods in one day. That's four different foods, I would have thought, because obviously we've got to put the wine on. Pass a safety inspection, that's a big thing as well. So if you miss your chores, then obviously rats are going to start coming in. And once rats are, once rats are, rats are in your restaurant, then you're not exactly fucked. But it's going to make serving customers a hell of a lot more difficult. And not only that, the safety inspector can shut you down. It's actually quite a, quite a, a lethal game in that respect. You know, it's... It's very demanding here. Get a twelve times perfect combo on three separate days. We actually got we actually got it then, so that was pretty good. Purchase six food and drinks for your menu, which we haven't done yet. And we need a chip jar, but we haven't got one yet. We might not necessarily be able to get that just yet. We might be able to. Now at the end of each day you'll have uh, lots and lots of um, this crap. Uh, some of it's pretty good. I just want to catch out on your open day, it always feels so overwhelming, doesn't it? Blah 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 blah. And there is other things as well. There's like flavour, as you can see. There is a quick guide using the service. That's not flavour. Here we go. Like for example, TV tonight. People always forget the most important part of the body to work out the coughs. Watch it. Watch as our cough cough blaster three thousand can shape those womanly coughs, or for women those boys coughs. <laughs> see, it's actually got a really uh, good sense of humour. It even has a few digs sometimes at other games, which is uh, kind of hilarious. Um, weather alerts are pretty useful as well because there's some foods that work better when it's a rainy day or when it's a sunny day so that's pretty cool and you also get notifications when there's new items so as you can see we've got the tip jar available now and upgrades as well we've now got access to upgrades which is really nice and we've got the beer upgrade which we'll probably be taking straight away because beer is nice beer is 600 okay um, actually let me yeah, let me just add my um, wine to that there we go I do need to buy another food rotter because uh, the chips are gonna go away soon so well the fried chicken fried chickens pretty good as well it takes I think it's the longest one to uh, cook deep uh, deep fried wise because obviously it's chicken but um it's pretty good you tend to get a bit of money off it it's upgradable as well so that's not too bad okay let's upgrade the um, let's upgrade the beer there we go. Beer seems to be a decent tipper as well. Uh, tip jar. Fifty dollars, is that all? Wow, okay, we'll get that. Excellent. I'm debating whether I should do another day or whether I should cut the uh, video here. Hmm. Might do another day. <laughs> you wanna see me fail. I know you all want to see me fail. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, let's let's swap out that with the chicken, because the chicken's uh, pretty good. Actually, do you know what I might I might just get rid of the fucking salad and all of that chicken in there instead. There we go. Yeah, you that's weird though, you can't swap it like that, but there we go. Okay. 
Uh, what else actually? I think I was actually in the middle of saying something else. Oh yeah, there's, there's a few things. So there's events, right? Now, events you can do to earn not only quite a bit of money um, for catering and stuff like that, but you also, it's also required when you want an higher level restaurant. You have to make a good catering service as well, which is absolutely, absolutely horrendous. Um, to be honest, that you've got to be able to do all these, you know, yourself and do all the chores. But you know what? It, it makes the game fun. It makes the game fun. You, you, you feel like you're always doing something. So that's it's always good. It's always nice to uh, feel like that. Always nice indeed. And there's bets in the in the game as well. There's a bet system. Yeah, we haven't unlocked it yet, but I think maybe I think it's when you get your first uh, star restaurant. I can't remember when you get your first restaurant. You can start making bets. You can start saying like um, someone will probably say I what someone who essentially might say I bet you can't get um, twenty uh, times perfects in one day. Blah blah blah. These are usually they're usually worth taking. Some of them are pretty easy to do, but some of them are absolutely stupidly hard to do. Especially uh, very early on when you don't have access to some of the uh, good equipment like the dishwasher and the uh, garbage service. But yeah, it's cool. I'll tell you what, let's do one more day. I'm sorry if the, if it's too loud. I'm really sorry about the sound, um, but fuck it. We're going to do one more day. Right. Chicken. One fried chicken. And you'll probably notice that it takes a lot longer to make chicken than it does uh, french fries. There we go. You don't have to salt it or anything, which is really cool, so it's pretty simple. Oh, wine. A bottle of your cheapest wine. So we need to keep tapping the up button until it's corked. Um, not until it's corked. Bloody hell. Until we pop the cork. The weird thing about the wine as well is that if you, or if you start popping the uh, cork, if you haven't got the right particular bottle, then you, ca you can't get away from it. You can't stop pulling it and put it back on, unfortunately. <laughs> So yeah, this is cool. Right, there you go. Give me some fucking tips. That's what I want, I want some tips. T tips aren't much, you know, about one or two dollars, but you know, it adds up. And of course, the more customers you get, you know, the more money you'll make. I mean, we've got a decent amount of bus. 40% ain't bad, but it's not good either. And that's mainly probably because of what I have on the menu, the smelly menu. It, the, the smell is probably from the, um, it's probably from either the French fries or it's from the, oh shit, rush hour. Right, let's concentrate here. Right. Oh no, this is going to take too long, isn't it, because of the bloody chicken. God damn it. No, I've overspilled the, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's the easiest thing to put a point. I just, I just, I just fucking overfilled it. Fucked it out. I'll get it a mega head. Oh no. Come on, don't, no, don't order no more chicken. Don't order no more chicken. I, did, I actually forgot that the chicken took this bloody long. And now it's going to bite me in the arse. Oh yeah, and once you start getting all your stars as well, you start getting bigger queues. So as you can see, I can only serve up to four people at a time. Well, oh, oh, I made it, I made it, I made it. Are you going to make the wine? Oh, am I going to make the wine? No, you bastard. So yeah, um, I think at the star, uh, star 2 restaurant, I've got six um, that I can queue up for. And it, it gets hectic then. You know, it gets pretty hectic, especially with some of the more... Um, harder recipes to, uh, to cook. Some of the more harder foods to cook. So yeah, there we go. Come on, come on. I've only got five packets now. It's a rainy day, yay! Okay. Oh come on, I forgot to put the salt. Shit. Why do you put the salt on the counter so they can do it themselves? The bloody lazy bastards. Oh well, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, that's no way. I'm, I'm not complaining. By the way, I'm actually taking the piss. Because <laughs> yeah, well, you can see the bloody tomato ketchup and everything. You know, it's that's hilarious. Okay, right. <coughs> I really need to be after this. I'm having halfway for the day yet. Okay, there you go. Take your beam and fuck off. There we go. Right, here we go. 
And then sometimes you'll have dead times like this, and you know, it's quite nice to have dead times like this, you can relax a little bit, but then you got to think, ah, I'm not making that much money from this. So yeah, you need the rush hours really, you need to, you need to be able to do good during the rush hours. So yeah. There we go. And you know what would be really cool as well? I know it's not in the game, but what would be really cool is like advanced bookings. That would be really cool. So you know what to prepare beforehand. That would be really cool. But I understand. The, the, game, the game is good as it is. The game is pretty good as it is, you know. And it's it, it's it's constantly giving free content updates, which is really nice. You know, it's not very often you see that from a developer, which is really good. So, yeah. I'm not complaining at all. That would be really cool. <laughs> Rush over. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Order the chicken, get the chicken, cook the chicken, cook the chicken, there we go. Get the wine, get the wine, get the wine, take the wine out, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Cut the chicken, cut the chicken, cut the chicken. I don't think I've ever overcut the chicken. It's quite hard to. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, fang, no, don't do that. Don't press the wrong button like a dumbass. Quick, 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 yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Come on! Cook that chicken! Cook that chicken! Come on! Yes, 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 yes! Come on, cook the chicken! No! No, 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 no! Place in the bowl, I forgot to place in this fucking bowl! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Wait, wait, please wait, let, 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 let me catch my breath. Oh, the period is at rest. Oh, thank God. Oh. <sighs> Your fucking hands are like, I don't want to work no more. My hands, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely at the, uh, at the higher levels. It can be very easy to get really wrist cramp. <laughs> Trust me, especially on some of the really more uh, exotic items. But wow, this this game is so exhilarating. It really is, really fun. It might be, it might feel a bit re repetitive at times, especially when you're trying to get to the next tier of restaurants. But I suppose that's part that's part of what makes the game the game. Really, you know, it's hard to make money. You're not gonna. You, it's not. Easy to make, it's not that easy to make money, it's very hard to make money. It really, especially when you start investing in equipment. It can be very hard to make money. So you have to bear in mind with that. But the great thing is, that there's no workers to, you know, pay. So it's great in that, in that respect, because if there was employees that you had to pay, then you'd probably end up with even less money. So, you know, it's cool. Now, that wasn't too bad. We actually had more customers in that time, but we still had a few bad and a few averages. But we still got more positive buzz than we did negative, so I'm happy with that. That was superb. Cracking. And as you can see, we've now managed to serve the full foods in one day. We still haven't done the rest yet, although we've nearly done the 12 um, times perfect combo. And we need one more food and drink. And we didn't get tipped. That's depressing. Oh well. And we also got Wake Up Neo, the Matrix has you, follow the White Rabbit, knock knock. Yeah. Told you, the uh, game does not take itself seriously at all. <laughs> Just want to show up. Oh, money! Thank you. I love these ones, though. I love these kind of mails that give you lots of money. And, of course, menu boxes. Okay. okay, then, guys, I'm going to leave that here. This is probably going to be a damn long video. Uh, apologies for that, but it's a good game. I really enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, it's very addicting. Okay, then, guys, I'll see you next time.